Hey YouTube, Brian LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel. In this video, My Heroes Con Hall. So we're not going to do any intro. We're going to kind of jump right in. I'm going to add my uh, comic cam here. Uh, just a, a brief note about Heroes Con. It is a fantastic con. Uh, just a very comic book centric creator, artist, um, not a lot of, uh, you know, other things happening. There was some cosplay. They had a couple cosplay um, contests. But for the main, most of the convention floor is comic books and creators. And the fact that we had 50 or 60 YouTubers there in the comic book community just made it an incredible, incredible weekend. So I would highly recommend that you looking in, look into attending in 2025. It is the weekend after Father's Day. I forget the exact dates, but it's, um, you know, mid-June 2025. So start making some plans now. I know I'll be back. I know everybody that was there this past uh, weekend was talking about coming back. So I think we're going to have an even bigger group next year. So I'm going to have some highlights of the con floor and some of the meetups in my vlog video on Friday but wanted to kind of put this haul together, you know, what, what I picked up. So let's get, uh, let's get to it. We'll make the camera big here. So first up we have, um, this heroes con, um, poster that I actually picked up on my LCS. And if you can see, I have a bunch of sick bunch of signatures from the community on here. Um, so it was just, uh, I think fanboy prime actually saw this poster and said, Hey, why don't you bring that and get everybody to sign it? And so it didn't get everybody that I met, but a bunch of the, uh, community members. So really cool. That'll be a keepsake that I'll have and, you know, probably hang up on the wall at some point once I get it framed. But the, on the other side of this is the comics curing cancer, uh, C3 first print done by Austin LeMay. And this I had picked up prior to going to Heroes Con, but I brought it with me. And let's see if we can get it. Austin LeMay's signature. So I actually have two of these. Uh, I'm going to be giving one of these away in the future. Uh, both, you know, both have been signed. So really cool. Got to meet Austin, chat with him. We had dinner one night. Just a, uh, you know, one of the... and. And if I, if I don't mention you by name, I apologize. There were so many YouTubers there. Um, you know, we've had breakfast, we had dinner, we were doing a lot of things outside of the con. Rob Fatstacks put together a fantastic um, get together Friday night. Just, uh, just a tremendous event. So, but Austin LeMay, you know, uh, got him to sign those for me. And like I said, had the opportunity to sit down with him over dinner one night with a, with a group of us. And uh, they were they were doing some art at the table. Uh, Austin, uh, Izzyverse, Drac, actual Dracula, Comic Vet, Roscoe. It was just um, just a crazy event. Um, now this next set of pickups here. Here's this little original artwork. I picked this up. And then along with these um, comic books called Tough Girl. So this is a independent um, done by Brian Mon, B-R-Y-A-N-M-O-N. And Brian actually happens to be um, a former co-worker of my wife. Uh, they actually both worked at Disneyland in California. My wife is from California and Brian happened to be at the show. So I found out I think the day before. And so definitely got uh, an opportunity to go, you know, say hello to him again and remind him who, <laughs> who I was. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been, it's been a long time since I've seen Brian. Uh, and so he, he certainly remembered my wife. Uh, and um, so I stopped by his booth and he'll be there at next year's con and I'll leave the link uh, in the description to his information on Instagram and Facebook Definitely want to go check him out. A very talented, uh, very talented artist. And like I said, he's self-published um, this series of books, uh, Tough Girl. He's got three issues. I'm going to be uh, digging into this. Um, and, he, and I actually picked up a secondary copy of issues one, two, and three. And I'll be doing, uh, being, doing a future giveaway and, and giving those away. So um, those were some of the first things I started with. Uh, let me slide over. Uh, 
Um, next up, we've got um, a big stack here of, I'm going to move, I'm kind of doing this live here, going to swing my microphone over so I don't have to reach as much, but great bunch of stickers from the community, DJ Links, got the uh, couple of comics, Keychain, Roscoe sticker, tons of stickers. Here's Tough Girl sticker from the book I just showed you. Um, we've got Durr's new sticker, who was actually designed by one of the um, artists that was there. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. Legion, we got Cup Shiny, Mr. Digger Jim, and a coin from Jim that he found. Really cool. We've got the Hoarder's Hide Challenge coin. Really cool. And the Comics Curing Cancer coin. Um, the Comics Curing Cancer team gave these out to um, supporters of, you know, the event over the last couple of years. So that was really cool to get. I know some of them were sent out in the mail as well. So really cool. This was um, this was a little AOK from Pokan Joe. Uh, issues one and two of Batman the First Night. Or I hear this is a really good read. Um, this is a book. Uh, actually, two books, um, The Last Ronin 1 and 2 that I had picked up from Roscoe um, prior to Heroes Con, but he brought it to Heroes Con with him. And the penciler, uh, Ben Bishop, was there. And so I actually got Ben to sign uh, sign the books and remark uh, issue number one here. So we got Ben's signature and his remark. So that was really cool. Ben was a really nice guy. We chatted with him for a little bit. Uh, free signatures and um, remark. I think it was like twenty bucks. So basically twenty bucks for two signatures and and the remark. So just uh, you know, all a lot of the creators. Uh, I'm not a big you know creator signature guy, but um, you know a lot of a lot of the community that was there was after them and you know really had some good experiences. Um, you know, with uh, the community, I got to witness. Um, Freaky Louie, I helped uh, Freaky Louie uh, meet JRJR uh, and Louie, and I, I won't spoil it, but you'll you'll see it. I'm sure uh, Louie's, he's already posted it up on Instagram, um, but I was able to take some photos for Louie and uh, it was, it was really special to be there with, with Louie and, and with JRJR. I, you know, I've been very critical of JRJR's artwork recently in Spider-Man, but it's still pretty cool to, to, you know, to meet somebody who's working on, you know, one of your favorite books. So. Uh, picked up the Comics Curing Cancer uh, art book. Um, picked up a couple copies. I'll be doing a giveaway with this in the future as well. Got to definitely go through this great artwork by the community. Um, just was blown away by um, the artwork in here. Picked up a couple copies of the um, the Miko Suwon uh, Sonic book that is part of the Comics Curing Cancer um, initiative. So. Um, and fundraiser, uh, and I have the, a few of those to give away. Now, this is an amazing sketch cover. Look at this. I mean, if, you know, if there was not a better casting for uh, the Green Goblin, you know, William Defoe as the Green Goblin, because he's, he's a little bit of a crazy man. So, and this was a sketch cover done by um, Dan uh, Art. Art in motion. I forget. I'll leave his link. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on his. He's actually in the Comics Curing Cancer art book um, and picked up, got a chance to chat with him. And just a super nice guy. Very talented. Had a, had a number of great sketch covers. But this one was just, I mean, over the top for me. So I had to pick this up. Amazing work. Um, and then we had some some haul. Picked up, you know, some some raw books here. Um, and these were all $2 books. So kind of run fillers for some of my Spider-Man runs. So this is spectacular Spider-Man, uh, annual, uh, picked up a bunch of web of Spider-Man books here, all good looking copies. And these were all $2. So, uh, there was a, was a vendor that had probably 20 short boxes full of $2 books, all in really great shape. So Went through them and picked up a big stack of uh, Web of Spider-Man, all books that I was missing in the current, in the in the run. Uh, so, great rose cover there. Um, some Maximum uh, Carnage 
storyline books. Um, and I think we got another one here. And then the last here, these were 50 cent books that I picked up. A um, couple number ones. I'll probably end up throwing them in the uh, giveaway bin. Um, this was the one of the promotional um, drug awareness that DC did, the President's Drug Awareness Campaign. We had uh, Batman, the 10 cent adventure, I think this is. Pick that up. Uh, and then last but not least, New Gods, the Odyssey is over, number one. And so those were the raw books that I picked up. And then now here is the big book that I was hunting um, for the con. Amazing Spider-Man, number 129, first appearance of the Jackal. <laughs> Come on, we all know it's the first appearance of the Punisher. Uh, this is in a 6.0 with white pages. Um, so this was a book that I started hunting as soon as I got to the con, started, started, uh, you know, going around to the different vendors, asking them if they had a, an ASM 129, there were a number of copies to be had at the, uh, at the, at Heroes Con, um, a number of raw and some in higher grade. I saw like a seven Oh and eight Oh, I think I saw a few low nines, nine, maybe nine, two, nine, four. So obviously those books were kind of, um, for me, out of my price range. I was looking for like a mid-grade between a five and a six, you know, five, 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 six, obviously depending on price. I didn't really want to go with a raw book because um, I didn't want to spend that kind of money on a book and, and really be kind of be unknown. Um, you know, a couple of raw books I looked at had some issues. There was one I looked at that the cover looked great, but the staples, one of the staples was rusty. Uh, one of them had a stain on the back cover. And so I, sh I, you know, I stayed away from that. So I was really focusing on graded, you know, five, 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 six, zero, oh. And this book was the only one in that grade range that had white pages. And it really presented the best as far as the cover. Um, there were a few others uh, in lower grades and they were all pretty uh, similar in price range, you know, the, the five between a five and a six, they run anywhere between like 11 and $1,300. Um, and so, um, after, you know, basically taking a day and a half to kind of make sure that I saw all the, the one twenty nines there circled on the, in on this vendor, he had a price on it. Uh, he was asking 1350, uh, and got him to come down and I did not pay that. I know, uh, I'll, you know, leave it in the comments there. Let, uh, take a guess at what I paid for it. You know, take a look at FMV and take a guess and I'll, and I'll share it in, in my comments, but we'll play a little game. We'll, we'll enter you into, uh, our monthly giveaway. Um, if you, if you guess the, the correct, the correct cost or, or price that I paid for this book. So, um, but super excited to have this big key, Spider-Man key. Unfortunately, there's so many Spider-Man keys, obviously, with all of his first appearance of his villains and things like that. But I wanted to snag this one. I have the first Black Cat. Uh, so now I have the Punisher and, you know, I'll be working on some other ones, um, you know, as we go. I'm not sure if I'll get them in this high grade in a 6.0. I may look for, you know, those first uh, first keys within the first 100, probably, you know, a lower grade, maybe it, maybe a three. Uh, 2.5. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, but that is, um, those are the books I picked up at the con. Uh, I did uh, win a few things from CGC. I won a t-shirt. You basically were able to go to their booth every day. And if you signed up for their newsletter, you were able to pull a, um, pull a pin, a graded pin um, from a bag. And if you got a 1.0, or 0.5, you won a prize. And then if you got a 10 you won a slab as well. There were a few people in the community, Mark, uh, Roscoe, and Will, a couple of comics, all pulled 10s and, and won a book. But I was lucky enough to find, they were doing one other thing. They were hiding golden eggs throughout the con. Uh, and every day they uh, posted some hints up on their Instagram. And if you found the golden egg, they were basically on a, in a booth somewhere out in plain sight. You picked it up and brought it back to CGC and you won a prize. And so I won a CGC graded uh, Marvel anime card of uh, Iron Fist here in a 9.0. So 
So that was, and I actually found the golden egg on Sunday, the last day of the con at the Comics Curing Cancer booth. So they actually posted an image of Austin LeMay's Spider-Man print, and I knew exactly where it was. So I went over to the booth and Mark and, and Legion of Comics, DJ Lynx and Rob Fastax were there. I said, hey, where's the egg? Give me the egg. And they're like, what are you talking about? And then I looked around the booth and it was hiding, not hiding, but was on one of their back tables in the booth. I said, I'll take that, brought it over to CGC and, and won a prize. So definitely a cool... Um, Cool experience. You know, CGC was very busy with a lot of, they were doing on-site grading. So they had a lot of activity at their booth and they were being, you know, they were giving out some prizes. They were being generous. You definitely had some opportunity to win, uh, win some prizes. So really cool. So that is the comics, the uh, Her Heroes Con. I was going to say comics here in cancer, but the Heroes Con um, a Hall. Um, super excited to have picked up that book. Um and uh, yeah, you definitely need to make plans for uh, Heroes Con in 2025. Um, I know I I'll be there. Um, so, and, and like I said, I, I can't overstate the, the fun we had as a, a group, as a community, hanging out, having dinner, having breakfast, having drinks, whatever it was. We, you know, there was, there was a lot of laughs and the group chat uh, was pretty funny. I posted a, uh, a little special uh, photo in the group chat a uh, little uh, breakfast with Brian. You know, I, I've been known to dance around in a robe uh, or two over the years here. So um, I, I left something special in the in the group chat on IG for the the Heroes Con crew for 2024. But uh, we had a great time. But let me let me wrap it up. I'm rambling now. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what what you th you know thought of the books. Give me a guess on the price of the uh, ASM 129 and the 6.0. If you get it right, we'll, we'll add you to a duck to the end of the month giveaway. And uh, yeah, that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.